In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use green screen footage when you're live streaming using OBS, or maybe you're making a tutorial video just like this. So guys, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step in just a few minutes how you can utilize green screen footage to take your stuff to the next level. And it's really quite simple, you just have to really know where to look. If you haven't seen one of my videos before, my name's Stefan Malik. I do a lot of photography and filmmaking news reviews and tutorials. So if you do enjoy this video and it helps you out, well, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. And that's exactly what we're kind of going for here. As you saw that green screen can be a little bit annoying. So let's jump in and check out exactly the process that we're talking about. Here is our screen capture. And if you're not too familiar with the scenes and sources in OBS, I recommend you go and take a quick tutorial of a, a video on that on YouTube, and then maybe revisit this video when you're ready to use your green screen. So here we are in OBS and we've got our scene set up. We've got a source already and that's our screen capture tutorial here. And we want to add another source. In this case, we're going to go ahead and add a media source, which will be our like and subscribe clip. We can call it whatever you want, in this case, Media Source 5. And the first thing that we're gonna do is have to find that file. So we browse and locate that file. In this case, it's gonna be in my streaming stuff and it's called our subscribe test clip. Now it's really important, the next thing that you do if your file is looping is to click loop here. Because it's probably not a file that's gonna last or a clip that's gonna be indefinite, you wanna click that loop button and I'll show you why in just a second. Next, hit the OK button and it's gonna come up there. Obviously that's not what we're looking for. So firstly, you might have to resize it if your canvas is different than the actual clip itself in size. So I'm just gonna drag that over and make it fit. So the next thing that we need to do is actually go ahead and apply a filter. We wanna get rid of that green. So we're gonna go down to our sources, find our source, right click and go down to filters. From here, we're gonna go over to the effects filter and press the plus button again and add a color key. When you click on color key, you can name it, and I'm just gonna call it color key. And that brings us to this. The reason we had the loop on is because now our clip is going to be looping. And this is gonna let us see what's happening in real time without it going away. And it's really just trial and error. You wanna find a place that gets rid of all that green and mess with the smoothness a bit until it looks good. So for me, that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit close there. And just like that, we have our display capture with our looping effect, and we wanna get rid of that loop, so we're gonna right click on that media source, go down to properties, and uncheck that loop button, and press okay. And just like that, we have our scene set up. Here's our regular scene, and our specific one for this actual clip is gonna be right there. And it's literally as simple as that, guys. I really hope you liked this video and it helped you out. If you wanna see more just like it, or if you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them down in the description for you. And if you have any ideas or things that you want me to make a different video on, well, I'm open to that too, guys. And like always, make mistakes, be yourself, and get out there and take some more pictures. See you next time.